Thank you very much. I'm really happy to be part of this event and also I'm so excited. So first of all, I'm just going to introduce myself. I'm an Istanbul and Vienna-based interdisciplinary artist, creator and independent publisher. Also, I'm the founder and the director of Fanzines Vienna Art Book and Zine Fair and the co-founder of Hate the Fanzine. And if you want, slowly, slowly, I can start to make my presentation. And my practice revolves around various mediums, including painting, installation, zine, art book, music, video, and ready-mades. And apart from this, I organize group exhibitions, my own solo exhibitions, uh, continue to my art production. So I also publish fanzines like Hate the Fanzine and artist books that I that I have bound by myself. So since 2010, I can say that I entered an intense production process with both uh, my personal fanzines and Hate the Fanzine. And my first period fanzines were political pornography themed pop porn fanzine. In the scenes, I dealt visually with political politics becoming pornographic while degenerating the um, evolution of violence and femicide, city occupation, and many other political topics. And they were works in the concept of art scene where collages and illustrations were intense. And after that, um, we started to publish our publication, uh, Hate the Fanzine, this one. So in 2010, Hate the Fanzine was founded as a zine and artist collective by me and my friends, Sedef Karakash, and Barış Sinsi in Istanbul, hate base created entirely by collage and without the use of computers defending the analog against the digital. So the zine uh, contains contemporary art, illustration, interviews, literature, music, and politics. And I think our visual language is fed by punk, dada, and pop art aesthetic. So let me show you some pages quickly. And apart from that, um, apart from the written and visual content produced by a number of uh, core members, artists from different countries of the world have been guests in Hate and thanks to an open call and invitation policy. And in this context, Hate primary goal is to create an alternative exhibition in the form of a fanzine. At the same time, the zine has met its readers through the organization of physical exhibitions, workshops, and events, as well as participating in many fairs, festivals, and exhibitions in Europe and Canada. As of uh, 2022, more than 1,000 copies of Hate have been published, both in Turkish and English. It's distributed in bookstores, art galleries, and cafes in 32 locations across seven different countries. And I see uh, zines as an art form that helps us communicate with our own little universes. In this respect, publishing a fanzine uh, has a very important form in my art practice. For me, it's also part of an original orientation to document history, archive and create our own independent memories. If nobody writes our history, we can just write our own history. So, and now, Shortly, I will try to summarize the Zinho's history of Turkey from 70s till our contemporary era. Turkey has a long tradition of censorship. For 50 years, fanzines and other independent publications have been sidestepping government control. In order to question and criticize the status quo, my talk offers a brief a survey of some landmarks in the history of Zin culture in Turkey and shows how it remains a dynamic and necessary media uh, format today. The fanzine first emerged in Turkey after military coups of uh, 1971. And 1980 shifted the social, political, and cultural balance and intensified censorship of media. Unlike mainstream publications, uh, fanzines are flexible and can be printed from the underground anonymously and free from system of control. In this, um, they are an essential medium, uncensored documents and snapshots, snapshots of society, 
uh, representing different people and different interests and different voices. The first Turkish scene was Antares in 1971. This fanzine was oriented to science fiction, a genre that at the time was characterized as a devi deviation from literature, meaning sci-fi writers had to make an effort to create their own channels. Antares was published by um, Cesar Arkin Ergin uh, between 1971 and uh, 1974. When it became a magazine, switching from duplication to offset printing. Although Antares always thought of itself as a magazine. In its early incarnation, it is uh, referred to as the first fanzine of Turkey. Uh, in the 90s, uh, Turkey was a, a home to a rich ecosystem of fanzines. And icons include Istanbul's Mondo Trosho and Lanet, and two publications that followed a different paths, but were united by the same DIY ethos. And in that period, fanzines um, started to become visible and met their readers. Mondo Trosho, first published by Esat Pashak in May 1991, was a pi pioneer of its era with its distinctive punk-inspired graphic approach. Combining font images, collage, handwriting, and typewriting, the name Mondo Trosha expresses a Bashak, Bashak's belief that information, visual auditory, something, anything, can be transferred. It's a garbage word. Nothing is a discarded. It can be changed again. Some of today's leading musicians and music writers were first published in this scene. Mondo Trosha had a total of um, 24 issues of average rounds of uh, 100 copies. Although it had a symbolic price, it was mostly distributed by hand and another fanzine published in the same year and the even month as Mondo Trosho was Lanet, issued by Charlan Tekil. A Lanet was the pulse of the Turkish heavy metal music community until its last issue released in October 1994 the first three issues were published monthly in A4 format as photocopies before it switched to offset printing. Only 35 uh, copies of the fanzine were printed of the first issue, and while its circulation before their closing was around 2,700 copies. Funding nearly uh, 20 music shops across five different cities. From the first quarter of 90s to beginning of 2000s, many punk fanzines were published by photocopying in Turkey. Am among them, highlights are a Black Hardcore, Spastic Erol, Media Towers, Disguast, Sanak Bey'in Terörü, and Piskor. These fanzines were published anonymously in Istanbul, taking a stance against uh, punk posers and elitists, harshly critical of the music writers, of the period and spastic Carol share uh, writings on album by punk bands and even gifted copies of Dead Kennedy's concert recordings. A black hardcore and peace core featured, uh, featured content on hardcore punk and DIY scenes and Media Towers was another fanzine that adhered to uh, ideals of hardcore punk aesthetic, uh, blending nihilism and anarchism with copious co collage. And this publication achieved a unique aesthetic by keeping the pages together with a safety pin instead of staples. After the 2010s, fanzines such as Pevkalada fanzine, Jinaşe and Tavus Kuşu fanzine published historical and intellectual articles and literature on issues such as equality, feminism, queer theory, and rebellion. Alongside these uh, publications, it's worth remembering that the most widely produced type of fanzine in Turkey are literary fanzines, literature fanzines, in which text more than the aesthetic is focus, is the focus. At the same time, art zines, photo zines, and comics have gained momentum. Contemporary zine projects include the uh, Svadik fanzine, Seyyar Sesler, Pastu Teneke, Fomo fanzine, Chizgi fanzine, Gölge fanzine, Sumesan editions, Gözaltı, Dog Juice, and Hate fanzine, the our fanzine. So our over the last decade, students from Istanbul-based uh, fine arts universities have been producing 
themes with a focus on comics, illustration, and visual arts. Introducing this publication, among them from and Chizgi Fanzin to readers at the university and comic festivals, as well as online. Photozines, meanwhile, are usually published by photographers and artists who want to share their work on freer platform than institutional facilities of art galleries. Gölge Fanzin, Gözaltı, Suyumas and Editions have increased their visibility through their partnership and Istanbul Photo Book Festival. Fanzin culture in Turkey remains centered on Istanbul, but Fanzins in big cities such as Izmir and Ankara are critical flag barriers of the culture. However, there are some Fanzins in the countryside in the Eastern region, although they are a few in number. Nowadays, the production of literature zines are more popular in Turkey. There are few photo zines, art zines, various experimental fanzines. The country is keen towards a publication format like a, a zine fanzine. So readers are more likely to encounter new fanzines on the internet, and they have chance to contact the publishers directly. This is also enabling the culture of the independent publishing base to spread. One of the most important representatives of uh, zine culture outside Istanbul is the Svadık fanzine, published by FL Mastaj from Izmir since 2014. Svadık fe features young artists and writers, experimental takes, poems, stories, and drawings independently of any opinion or mission. At the same time, the collective of the fanzine apartment, also founded by El Mastaj, aims to increase the uh, visibility and circulation of these types of publications. And with the fans and shelves that they have uh, created in different places, they also facilitate, uh, facilitate easy access to publications with the Turkey fans in venues map, frequently update on their website, uh, fansinapartment.com, you can check that out. Although the distribution of fans to bookstores has provided some visibility, uh, for this form of written media, the zine, comic, and art book events held in Turkey have brought it to broader audiences. The first fans and festival in Turkey was held in uh, 2014 in Istanbul by a small group of fans and authors with an amateur spirit. Then in 2016, for the first time, the fans and zine fest of Istanbul brought together international artists, local fans and authors, artists and zine lovers. This festival has taken place twice with a comprehensive program consisting of interviews, workshops, concerts, and fanzine markets. And it was organized by me and my friends. Also since 2016, fanzine culture has met new readers through the stand and fanzine workshops provided by organizations such as Istanbul Comics and Art Festival, and this is one of my favorite ones, Ankara Comics and Art Festival, Istanbul Photo Book Festival, and Borderless Art Book Fair. Istanbul's dynamic funding culture continues to expand, providing readers and writers with a unique censorship-free forum to express themselves. Now, I will explain what does it mean, why is it important to be a part of a local zin scene. Being a part of the local zin scene and being inspired is very important to us. And we started to publish Hate the Fans in, in Istanbul 2010. First, we visually expressed the political climate of Turkey's uh, geography and the absurdities in our daily life in the zin. Presenting a publication in our own language has enabled us to play with language. The format produce humor from elasticity of language. This is also an important advantage, of course. But in the following years, we decided to go beyond the local zine scene. We were publishing our zine in Turkish. Later, we solved the language barrier problem by including English translation in our zine and cooperated with translators. Thus, we participated in international fanzine festivals and the art book fairs with our fanzines translated into English. Using English, the universal common language in fanzine allowed us to establish an easier communication with people from abroad and the global zine world.
He took care to create the visuals we worked on from common subjects that can be understood on a global scale. Between 2018 and 2020, we participated in art book fairs and fans and festivals in 12 different countries in North America and Europe. In this way, our fans were not caught in the language barrier. It's very important for us to be able to speak the same language and understand each other in the global zine scene. And what makes our zine scene culturally and or geographically specific, Istanbul is in a very unique and strategic location in terms of being geographically located in Europe and Asia. The fact that one side of city faces east and the other side faces west enables us to produce synthesis, visual artworks and texts and literature. Turkey, the country where I was born and grew up, is a place where political oppression is intense. Repressive regime, one-man rule, and censorship mechanism in Turkey are quite strict. In such a place, fanzines undertake an important mission to spread a micro-communication and political ideas. If you post a dissident tweet about a President Erdogan on Twitter, they can put you in a jail. But if you make an anonymous political fanzine, the government cannot track it. In this respect, fanzines in Turkey provide a safer communication space than social media. Anyway, this is really long topic. And since I also live in Vienna, I follow the zine scene intensely in Austria, along with Turkey. In 2019, I organized, I organized the Fanzines Vienna Art Book and Zine Fair. And you can check out fanzines.com. Right now, our uh, fanzine a uh, fair is going on as online. And in 2019, we had the opportunity to organize this event by re receiving state funds, prime ministry funds. Actually, Fanzine started to be organized as an independent and DIY Fanzine Festival in Istanbul in 2016. I just mentioned this before. And in Turkey, it's really hard to find an economical uh, support and during organizing the first Zimfest in Istanbul, we used our own limited resources. This is one of the examples that reveals the difference in economic support between Vienna and Istanbul. We also held Fanzinist, we also held Fanzinist Vienna um, as a digital fair to attract the attention of a wider global audience in this year. For one and a half months, 100 exhibitors 105 exhibitors from 35 countries present their publications in the virtual exhibitions. And there are visitors from 60 different countries. The virtual art book and zine exhibitions takes place in the form of a 3D gallery and offers artists and publishers a virtual display for their publications. And visitors can take a look at a, a wide variety of original publications that are also available for purchase, purchase from the exhibitors directly. Yeah, as I told you before, that event is still going on. You can check that out on fanziness.com. So now I would like to show quickly some images and I'm just gonna share my screen. I hope I can just manage that. So, hope you can see my screen. So this is Antares. I was just uh, talking about Antares. It's the first scene of Turkey. And this is Monda Turasho. Monda Turasho, mostly people uh, recognize Monda Turasho as the first scene of Turkey, but actually it's not. Antares is the first one, or sci-fi zine. So now you are gonna see the Lanet, that heavy metal culture zine. And in this session, you are gonna see some uh, punk scenes from 1990s. Sanak Bey'in terörü, Piskor, Yellows. Some of uh, that zinsters are quite still active and they are keep going on to make some punk scenes in nowadays. And you are just gonna see the one of the uh, zin shell from one of popular bookstore which host Zines. 
And also I'm just going to show some sport and football zines, which is published by some uh, football fans. And this is a music scene called Seyyar Sesler. And also uh, this is from our exhibition Hate Bezin, and we really like make some exhibition in alternative spaces. Uh, this is our exhibition from one of abundant space. And you are gonna see some hate the issues. I'm just gonna be quickly because that's my last minutes. Yeah, you can just check out uh, hate the zines in our web shop uh, called hatethefanzine.limitedrun.com. Yeah, this is our last issue, uh, the, my favorite issue, let's say. And also we publish some uh, Zin demo albums for punk bands and indie bands. And also we made a Hate the Fans and Collection book. It's just a DIY handmade book, uh, which is done by myself. So you can also find that book on our web shop too. And also we like uh, making some ex guerrilla exhibitions on the streets and also some Zin uh, workshops and concerts. And you are gonna see hate the zines from some different zine and art book festivals. This is from Prague. And this is Fanzinist Zinefest of Istanbul. Yeah, Fanzin is, is uh, still going on. There's an art book and zine fair in Vienna. You can just check that out on fanzines.com. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. My time is over and thanks again. Thank you so much. That was awesome, Denise. I really appreciate it. Um, if anybody has any questions as we're going, please feel free to put them in the Q&A and we will get to them at the end of all of the talks within this session. Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of really good questions. And um, so thank you so much, I really appreciate it.